As we get further into 2019, car manufacturers are starting to show off the latest all-new and redesigned SUVs they plan to debut for the 2020 model year. Hyundai and Kia are expanding their offerings of three-row SUVs in a market that's overflowing with choices, combining everyone's preferred high-up seat in position with wagon-like utility and available or standard all-wheel drive. Some of these SUVs will hit the market later this year as 2020 models. This list includes all new SUVs as well as redesigns and refreshed models. So without any further ado, let's check them out. The 2020 Kia Telluride its boxy look separates it from anything else in the class. Its enlarged tiger nose grille and upright rectangular headlights gives a strong gaze, and the slim LED taillights and silver running boards continue to the rear. On the hood and the tailgate, a Telluride word mark nearly extends the width of the vehicle, a design feature typically reserved for trucks and classier crossovers. The cabin is one of the most well-appointed in the class, with fantastic build quality and premium soft-touch surfaces throughout. In the infotainment department, it features Kia's UVO system, which includes an 8-inch touchscreen, a 6-speaker sound system, and 6 USB ports. The touchscreen offers crisp graphics and quick response times with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Base model seat 8 with the bench metal seat. The S and SX trim swap it out for captain's chairs, reducing occupancy to 7. Power sliding and folding second row seats come standard too. Under the hood is a 3.8 liter V6 engine that produces 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission with an MPG of 20 city and 26 highway. Adding all-wheel drive, we'll see those numbers drop to 19 city and 24 highway. The 2019 Mazda CX-9 This is probably the best-looking vehicle in the class. Mazda's signature Kudo design cues are obvious on the CX-9 and extend from the triangular grille and the slim headlights up front to the narrow taillights and slope and roofline out back. The Mazda CX-9 is an attractive alternative to other boxier and elegant options. The inside of the CX-9 is just as buttoned up as the outside. All the finishes feel very upscale. There is ample high-quality leather on the door panels and dash, and soft plastics everywhere. Like many three-row SUVs, the best seats are in the first two rows, which are roomy and comfortable. Even adults will find it pleasant to ride in the middle row. The third row bench isn't as spacious as some rivals, but it's still good for a brief ride. Mazda's infotainment system was merely acceptable when new. Now it's plain outdated. While the rest of the CX-9 feels fresh, it's time for an update here. The model layout and hard-to-use rotary dial detracts from the experience of this otherwise exceptional SUV. Under the hood, there is plenty of power from the turbocharged 2.5-liter engine. It's 250 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. Move the CX-9 with purpose. With all-wheel drive, the CX-9 is grippy in the corners, and Mazda estimates 0 to 60 miles per hour time in 7.2 seconds. The 2020 Hyundai Palisade Hyundai took a risk. The Palisade looks unique, and it's almost pretty in the top-tier limited trim. The oddly shaped thick grille gives it a more commanding presence. The slim upper LEDs, which act as both running lights and turn signals, give way to square lower light boxes, dubbed crocodile eyes by designers. This combination gives it an aggressive look. Its cabin has elegant styling and soft-touch materials that rival some premium brands. The fit and finish is high quality, and there are a number of clever touches, such as cup holders that recess at the touch of a button. The 8 and the 10.25-inch touchscreens are user-friendly and have crisp displays. Every model comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and USB ports are plentiful throughout the cabin. Depending on the trim, the second row comes with a bench seat or a set of captain's chairs. The first two rows are very spacious, and the third row is adult-friendly. Under the hood, just like the Telluride, there is a 3.8-liter V6 engine that produces 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission with an MPG of 20 in the city and 26 highway, and with all-wheel drive, those numbers drop to 19 city and 24 highway. The 2019 Volkswagen Atlas the Atlas was designed for American audiences only. Its styling is fairly plain falling on the masculine side of the spectrum. The simply styled grille and headlight elements form a wide band across the vehicle's face that emphasizes its width, while more clean character lines streak down along the sides, interrupted only by a pair of oversized fender flares. In terms of comfort, the Atlas is an overachiever. The seats themselves are great for long hauls, but it's the way they move that really makes the difference. The second row slides and tilts, which means just the right amount of legroom can be dialed in for the third row passengers. It has one of the few third rows that can handle adults without compromise, and if no one is back there, second row occupants can slide all the way back for limo-like accommodation. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility are present. What's more impressive is the 12.3-inch digital display facing the driver that replaces your traditional analog dials 
called Volkswagen Digital Cockpit. The Atlas can be had with a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, but the SEL Premium model is only available with Volkswagen's venerable 3.6-liter VR6 engine, producing 276 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. The six-cylinder feels plenty strong thanks to its peak torque occurring early in the rev range. The mix of ride and handling here, though, definitely skews towards a comfortable ride. The 2020 Honda Pilot The Pilot's style is simplistic and satisfying but certainly not striking enough to make it stand out in a crowd. The recent facelift gives it more stylish headlights and taillights. They complement a bolder grille and refreshed front fascia. It's an improvement over last year's Pilot, but still fails to make the crossover stand out. The cabin comes equipped with bountiful storage areas and numerous cup holders, and while function is clearly Honda's top priority, the Japanese brand didn't overlook form. Material choices are durable and elegant, and the various plastics offer a nice feel to the touch. Thankfully, Honda did away with the clunky touch capacitive volume slider and replaced it with a volume knob for 2019. The pilot seats 8 people in its standard setup, and 7 if you get the second row captain's chairs. The first two rows of seats provide plenty of space, as well as good support and all-day comfort. The third row is reasonably adult-friendly. All pilot models come with a 280 horsepower V6 engine. It's mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission in lower trims and a 9-speed automatic in higher trims. You will find that the V6 delivers more than enough power to move the pilot whether you are driving around town or cruising down the highway. So, what do you think of this list? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications for the latest car reviews and news. Take care, and see you in the next one.